We need that genetic diversity in order to make those populations robust to random events that could take them down. Hi, I'm Mike Rotter, and I'm an assistant professor in biology here at UVU. In 1950, a pack of wolves crossed an ice bridge onto Isle Royale National Park. These wolves became trapped on this island. At first, this was a great situation for these wolves. They were able to flourish, they had a steady population of moose to feed off of. But there was a specter haunting this population, and that specter was genetic drift. Genetic drift is a process by which a population can lose diversity in their genes very fast. Over time, random events such as disease coming to the island, as well as some of the wolves falling down abandoned mine shafts, further reduce this population and further reduce the genetic variation. For about 70 years, these wolves got to a point where the only ones left were extremely closely related and were unable to breed because of how close they were. This population became extinct. Recently, the National Park Service started a program to bring in wolves from various different parts of their range, and today we have a robust wolf pack on this island wilderness.